what isn't torture, but feels like it is. Faking interest in a conversation you want no part of. Slow internet. When you prepare for a sneeze, but it won't come out. Having to sit through an interminably long PowerPoint presentation, when the presenter is literally just reading off the slides. Email it to me, if that's all you're going to do, because I can read off slides too. Then seeing there's still like 22 slides to go. Having to listen to All I Want for Christmas is You every two songs as an employee on a mall. Listening to someone else's terrible music. The dentist drill. Anxiety. Having a swollen taste bud on your tongue. Job interview. Being in a public place or event for an hour after your social energy runs out. Especially with small children at said event and your family expects you to help keep them entertained and all you want to do is go somewhere quiet on your own stuff away from everyone. Doing taxes. Waiting for your crush to call you after you give them your number. Eating for final bell in high school. Monday status meetings. Thing out job applications in slightly different ways for dozens of employers. Being forced to work slash live slash travel with highly toxic people. Living in a house with no air conditioning, loud kids, no money, on a hot day. Burying your own child. When people living above you stomp around and flush the toilet every hour until 4am and you need to be up at 5am. Pretending to be interested as people show you their vacation photos. Waiting room chairs. Being forced to go to church when you're little and have no say over your religious preferences. Sound of someone smacking gum or similar noises. I want to stab them in the eye. An endometrial biasy. Legit torture. Having to listen to someone chew loudly or talk with their mouth full. The first two months of having a baby. Killing time for hours in an airport terminal because your flight has been cancelled or placed on an indefinite delay. Doing an x-ray in the dentist office. Have to bit down on some uncomfortable plastics for WHT feels like forever. Waiting for someone to get out of the bathroom when you really need to go. Traffic when you're late. The time you spend in the waiting room of a doctor right before a scary appointment. Sitting through a long meeting that could have and should have been an email. Schizophrenia, bipolar, depression. Developing feelings for someone you're close to, but it isn't mutual, so you have to try to suppress those feelings while continuing to be friends with that person because you don't want to lose them from your life completely. Music in Yauta Bads just makes my ears bleed. Mondays. Waiting to hear back after a job interview. Answering obvious questions from people who barely put in enough thought to properly frame the question, let alone try to come up with an answer themselves. The certain knowledge that whoever the UK Conservative Party chooses as its new leader, and hence the next British Prime Minister, once Bojo finally gets dragged kicking and screaming like a toddler, out of number 10, will just be another overprivileged, ignorant twad looking to line their own pockets, and those of their chosen band of cronies. Small children telling jokes. Not being able to sleep at night. Eating when you're on a diet. Anal fissures. The 4 to 8 hour line at the DMV. Wet socks. Waiting after sending a risky text. Listening to people trying to defend idiotic opinions. Losing someone you love. Menstrual cramps. Working in customer service fields. Being woken up by a loud alarm clock after exactly 69 minutes of light sleep. Post nizzle drip, allergy and sinus issues. My mother's whining, like she's my fourth child. When it's raining hard, and you accidentally step into a small collection of water that just had to be exactly 0.1 inch higher than the front of your shoe and the rest of the day you have to walk in wet socks. Getting a boner in the middle of your class presentation. Tickling. 
read in questions from this sub lately. Having to hear someone else's eating noises. Dental care. Life. Receiving advice from people who have no idea what they are talking about. Playing pretend with a toddler. College. 1. When you go to the doctor for something stuck in your arm or leg, and they can't do anything to numb it as they yank it out. 2. Watching your friend be told that nothing can be done to stop the man who raped them. Also while fear being told that either it was their fault or it ever happened to begin with. 3. Thinking. That's it. I'd like my brain. When you need to just stand there and take it, because socially it would be terrible to speak up. Case in point, traveled from another state to visit my elderly mom recently and some of her neighbors slash fellow residents in her retirement home were just abhorrent. Full blown white, need maga racists with no filter just casually transmitting total filth. But what was I to do? Call them out on it, and fly back to my home, to leave my mom picking up all the broken glass? She needs to see these people every day. So I just tried to redirect the conversation, etc. BTW my mom isn't racist, but she's in her 80s, and will say things to me about young people not wanting to work anymore, etc. And I'm perfectly comfortable arguing with her, telling her that Mrs. So and so is a terrible person in private. No hard feelings either way on that stuff. But yeah. For me that was torture, because I most definitely have opinions. Being alive. When there's a draft in the house, that keeps making doors creak and slam. Being stuck behind slow walkers. Hearing other people chew obnoxiously loud. Going to bridal showers. Sitting there and watching the bride open presents for hours on end. Small talk with someone's aunt's neighbor's sister's friend. Being in the closet, especially if it's because people around you don't accept it. Country music.